This is how the Dallas police sniper ambush unfolded. A military veteran carried out the worst attack on police in Dallas's history on Thursday evening, killing five officers and wounding seven more before he was killed by a robot-controlled bomb. The attack took place near the end of a protest that started at 7 p.m. in Bellow Garden in downtown Dallas and marched towards Main Street Garden and back to Commerce Street. At 8.58 p.m., shots were fired at the officers. A witness said the gunman, identified later as Micah Xavier Johnson, was shooting at officers behind a pillar. The gunfire shocked the protesters, who fled through the streets in every direction. Police officers drew their guns and began to engage Johnson. Johnson was seen running past El Centro College down Elm Street, but somehow ended up on the second floor of a garage near the college. Police cornered Johnson in the garage and started negotiating with him around 11.45 p.m. The negotiation broke down after several hours and the two sides exchanged gunfire. Police then attached a bomb onto a bomb disposal robot and sent it to Johnson. Johnson was killed after police detonated the robot bomb. Investigators discovered bomb-making materials, rifles, and a journal of combat tactics in Johnson's home during a search on Friday.